Well, let's check out some NBA games on this Monday night here. Uh, the Bucks beat the Pistons 150 to 130. Giannis came back, had a double double, 29 points, 12 rebounds. Brooke Lopez had 21 points as well. Bobby Portis also added a double double as well. 10 rebounds, 18 points. Yeah, Celtics lose to the Magic, 113 and 98. I freaking love it. Jason Tatum had 26 points, and so did Jalen Brown. But how about Paolo Banchero with 23 points and Wendell Carter with a double-double? I love it when the Celtics lose. You know why? Because Boston sucks. Meanwhile, the uh, Rockets beat the Timberwolves 119-114. to D'Angelo Russell had 30 points, and Anthony Edwards had 31 points, and Rudy Gobert had a double-double. But how about Jalen Green with 42 points? But the Rockets aren't going anywhere. They had like a 13-game losing streak or 14-game losing streak snap. But the Bulls beat the Hawks 111-100. to Ice Trey had a double-double with 13 assists and 21 points. And uh, DeJounte Murray had 20 points. How about uh, Patrick Williams with a double-double and Vukovic with one as well? Man, Caruso had 12 points tonight in the win. Boy, do we miss Caruso. And the Jazz beat the Hornets 120-102. to um, Jordan Clarkson had 18 points. Um, Blazers rebound and beat the Spurs 147-127. to So after, uh, after us beating the Blazers, the Blazers came back and redeem themselves tonight how about Damian Lillard with a double double with 12 assists and 37 points Nurkic also had a double double what can I say about Damian Lillard he's a great player but he has never made it to the NBA finals however the, the Kings beat the Grizzlies 133 to 100 which gives the Nuggets a little bit of breathing room now. So Dylan Brooks had 13 points. Jaron Jackson had 19. Desmond Bain had 21 points. John Moran had the day off. Harrison Barnes with 20 points. And how about DeMontis Sabonis with the triple-double? 10 rebounds, 11 points, 14... I mean, 10 rebounds, 11 assists, 14 points. Jaron Fox added a double-double with 11 or 10 assists and 17 points. Malik Monk, a rebound shy of a double-double, but had 13 points. Yeah. I think the Kings are surprising the league this year. And and uh, also the uh, the Sixers have a have trailed the Celtics by four games now. And the Bucks are four and a half back. So, yes. It's crowded in the uh, Eastern Conference. Celtics, Sixers, Bucks, and Nets ran out the top four. Meanwhile, out west, the Nuggets have a two-game lead over the Grizzlies. And, of course, the Kings remain in the three position right now. And the Pelicans are at number four. And there's word that Artie Moreno is not going to sell the Angels after all. But, yep. He's still going to be the owner for the next, at least a year. It's unknown how long he'll be the owner, but I know that it's until further notice. And, uh, and also, um, Michael A. Taylor signed with the Minnesota Twins. But yes, the Lakers got Rui uh, Hachimura. It was Rui Hachimura. For Kendrick Nunn and three second round picks but Hachimura should give us a boost and um, and AD is going to be back soon Austin Reeves is hopefully will be back before by the beginning of February and Lonnie Walker so the Lakers are going in the right direction it looks like and like I said never give up keep the faith on the Lakers you know Happy days will be here again before you know it. And yes, the Lakers will always be LA's team. 
It's always going to be the big brother that's going to have championships on the Raptors. Raptor, Raptors. And um, the little brother Clippers are a joke. I could care less about the Clips. And I'm happy that Boston lost tonight as well. Well, I hope you all have a great night. And I will see you next time. Peace out.